DARPA is an agency of the Defense Department. Our job is to invest in the breakthrough technologies that can create the next generation of national security capabilities. That mission is rooted in our origins uh, in the wake of Sputnik. That was a moment when the United States realized that we needed a way to prevent that kind of technological surprise. And dating all the way back to DARPA's uh, foundation in 1958, our predecessors really quickly realized that the best way to prevent surprise is to go create some surprise prizes of our own. Predicting the future isn't, uh, is, is, is always a perilous business. For us at DARPA, what we try to do is look deeply into different technology areas. We often will look for the areas of technology where something's bubbling and brewing. We go find amazing technologists and bring them to DARPA for short terms, typically three to five years, and we really rely on them to go see what's happening in the technology community, understand some of the hardest national security and military challenges that we have and to craft the kinds of DARPA programs that could make a huge impact. DARPA is actually a very small agency. We're only a couple of hundred government employees in an office building. We do our work by being able to tap this vast technology community in universities, in companies of all sizes. DARPA is the kind of place where you can get on the elevator in the morning and there'll be uh, a serial entrepreneur who's now a program manager, a Navy SEAL, and a world famous hacker and they're solving some kind of problem between you know the first floor and the tenth floor. It's so essential for our mission that DARPA remain nimble and uh, part of that is structural in the way that we've uh, designed the agency. Uh, the fact that we only bring program managers in for short tours. Built into that is a constant refresh of great new ideas. But within those communities, DARPA plays one particular role, and that role is to make these pivotal early investments in technology so that we can change what's possible, and that's what really allows us to take these big strides forward. DARPA's technologies uh, often end up having quite an interesting impact uh, that's broad in our society. Again, we make these investments because of their national security uh, potential, but we've, we have many, many examples of how they have spilled over and often created a technology foundation that helped build the products and then the companies and then the industries that ultimately have changed how we live and work. For the next generation growing up, it's really hard to imagine life without smartphones and the internet, but those core technologies that made those, th those things possible uh, trace back to uh, our early investments and those of many other research supporters. <laughs>